Close your eyes and focus on your breath. The breath is the force of life. It's what keeps you alive. And it only stands to reason that this force, if it's uncomfortable, is not going to be good for the body and it's not going to be good for the mind. If you allow it to be comfortable, it's going to be good for both. So take some time. Give it some space. Don't crowd out the breath with your thoughts of other things. Pay attention to it. See how it feels all the way in, all the way out. If there's any area where it's not comfortable, you can change. If it's too short, you can make it longer. Too long, you can make it shorter. Check to see if it's too deep or too shallow, too fast, too slow, too heavy, too light. Take time to look at this. So many of the good things in life are like that. They're not things. They're qualities that are all around you, but you're not paying attention to them. As a result, you don't get the most out of them. Just like other aspects of the practice. I mean, there are opportunities to be generous all day long, opportunities to be virtuous all day long. The question is, is do we take the time? With generosity, it doesn't have to be material things. You can be generous with your forgiveness. You can be generous with your knowledge. You can be generous with your helpfulness. And that's the way to develop good qualities of the mind and also to create a good society around you. It's our actions that create our society. The society in the home, the society in the workplace. You can really change the atmosphere just by a few kind words or a few helpful actions. And it's the same with your own mind. You can change the state of your mind if you give time and energy to the things that are really good for the mind. All too often we spend our time looking for things that are harmful. It's like junk food. We just gobble down all the junk food that TV has to offer and the internet has to offer. and who knows what is out there now? And yet there's also good food for money. It's all around you. The good food of mind actually comes from within it. The decision to be helpful, the decision to be generous, the decision not to harm somebody, not to harm even little animals. These things strengthen the mind. They give energy to the mind. This is health food for the mind. <laughs> to look for the opportunities in your life, to find what's helpful, to find what's healthful, and make the most of it, because our time on earth is, is only very short. We have to go and change into something else. So here you are, a human being. You've got the opportunity to develop all the kinds of goodness that human beings are capable of. And so don't let all the other concerns of your life crowd this out. Give this some space. Give this some time. And you'll be amply rewarded.